later this tonight, Mordecai Zoliana and Nick Wells will be fighting for that number one contender spot. And this is an amateur fight scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first in the red corner, he stands six foot two, weighing 185 pounds. Fighting out of Corriton, Indiana, he represents Full Moon Martial Arts, Lucan Hodges. <laughs> and in the blue corner, he stands five foot ten, weighing 185 pounds. Fighting out of Cincinnati, Ohio, T. Y. Nelson. Here we go in this middleweight bout. Both these gentlemen looking for their first amateur win. Hodges with a big kick. You don't see too many MMA fighters fight in the uh, long pants, so to speak. In the spats. Is that what they are? Spats? spats. Shinyu Aoki style. Yep. Nelson doing a good job of changing levels and making his way in there. Little body shot, changing it up. Even though not a lot of power behind it, still making Hodges think about what he's got. And he is a quick guy. Obviously, Hodges the taller fighter. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of reach he's, he's got to have over, over, T. I, uh, over Nelson. Another big kick from Hodges. Nelson coming in with some big shots. Didn't get any good connection, but he's still closing the distance rather well. guys are content to just have a yeah. little exchange here. Neither one of them sees, seems like they're uh, shy about getting in there and throwing with the other guy. So right. this, could, I, this could make for a dynamic fight. Yeah, and I, I think they're trying to get each other's timing down, Yeah, fill each other out. Nelson also seems to have no problem closing the distance against a, a fighter who, you know, obviously has a lot more reach or at least a lot more height. Nice low inside low kick. I think he might have hurt his foot a little on that one. Nelson's going to have to watch his hands. Tends to hover around the chest a little bit. Good, good little head movement there on the defense, though. I agree. Shots there at the end. He heard both the, guys trying to close. It claps. Nelson got a nice smile on his face, thinking he got the better of the exchanges right. there, and I think he maybe did. I, I agree. We got two more um, you no, know, Logan Hodges seemed a little uh, shy on the trigger, so to speak. Yeah, he had a couple uh, big kicks, but definitely yeah. was uh, picking the shots a little bit more, while Nelson was definitely the more active fighter. Um. You know, if you notice, if you look at Logan Hodges uh, right now, a little hard to see on the camera, but, uh, you know, he's got some redness around his chest area, on his legs. Doesn't look uh, much worse for wear other than that. Like, a lot of those shots, I think, were landing in his upper body. Nelson looks like he's having a pretty good time out there. Smile on his, his face. Coach there. There.
Nelson definitely looks like he's having some fun. Um, but uh, Logan Hodges looks a little more serious. Doesn't look worse for wear. He's still in this fight for sure. And uh, as I said, he hasn't really, didn't really pull the trigger in that first round, so I'm interested to see what he does in this second round. Yeah, but you know, with uh, with two guys, one amateur debut and one with an 0 one record, I thought that those guys looked like they were really composed out there. So yeah. taking their time, picking their shots, not really rushing in and, and getting too overly excited. So, I mean, this is, this is making for a good matchup. Well, and you know, a lot of guys train out of these good gyms and they're content with just training and not competing. So sometimes the amateur debut doesn't mean a lot. Like these guys have right. a lot of, of martial arts experience. They could experience. have years of experience right. before they ever fight, right? Right. Does not always tell the tale, correct? Yeah, some guys just don't like to compete. However, Nelson seems to be enjoying himself. Nice little exchange there. Logan caught Nelson and actually knocked his mouthpiece out. You know, Hodges had said before this fight, you know, in regards to what we were just talking about, that uh, he enjoyed training just for fun. And then a few of the guys in his gym started competing and he wanted to give it a try. And tonight he, he's got his hands full with Nelson. Yeah, you'll see that quite a bit, like you said, where guys are not competing and then they see their teammates competing, doing well, and they know that they're keeping up with them in the gym, so they want to test themselves. Not sure if Hodges is getting tired or if he's just waiting for that big counter shot. But I he's, agree. He's, he's uh, definitely I'm thinking the same thing. He honestly doesn't look tired, but he hasn't pulled the trigger yet with a, a minute left in the second round. But with that being said, he's been taking everything uh, Nelson's been throwing at him. And doesn't seem scared or intimidated. No, not at all. I mean, he's staying in the center right. of the cage, so there's right. definitely not like he's backing him up. Look at that. There you go. That's exactly what Hodges needs to do. He needs to really start flicking that jab out, working on that range, start working that low kick. Using that range to his advantage. There's the inside low kick again from Nelson. Because Nelson, you know, has no problem with staying in close. Not a lot of, I mean, not a lot of kicks out of uh, Logan Hodges, which I think would benefit him in this fight. They're a big knee. Good finish from both guys. Yeah, but I still think that Nelson is definitely right. with you all know, due respect, a lot. Uh, too little, too late. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I would like to see uh, in this third round. You know, perhaps uh, Hodges is trying to wear down Nelson a little bit or something. You know, you never know what their game plan is. So I don't want to right. sound like I'm being judgmental here. But um, and I understand the whole feeling out process for an amateur uh, debut fighter. I, I was kind of wondering if he was tired myself, but I think he has a, a, a lot left in the gas tank. Here we see uh, Nelson uh, on the screen, still smiling. Still happy. I think he feels like he's uh, 
is ahead on the judges' scorecards anyway. Doesn't, doesn't seem as though the activity has really worn him down that much at this point. So I think we're going to see the same from Nelson on this third round. Yeah, it's been pretty consistent with him all the way through, but not a lot of damage being done at all. No, but to, definitely uh, scoring. To Logan Hodges, yes, but he is scoring. So now Logan Hodges has himself in a position where he needs to do something in this third round to definitively win. He, he needs to, uh, to finish this fight, in my opinion. Unfortunately, not a great position to be in when you're coming from behind and looking right. for the big shot because you tend to leave yourself a little bit open. Right. So we'll see if he's got something in the back. All right, turning final round. Let's make some noise for these fighters. All right, all right, all right. Round number three. Oh. There's something different out of Logan Hodges there. Yeah, it looks like he was going to come in for a shot and then bail to Nelson. the guard. Oh, he's, those up kicks. Nelson's smiling at him, but he don't want to get caught. Yeah, you got to be careful with we'll them long legs. Nelson enables Hodges to get back to his feet. Big shot by Hodges there. Good little clinch and knee from Hodges. A lot more out of Hodges so far in this third round. He's going to need to continue to press the action. There's not a lot of time left. Nelson's still hanging out there right in the center of the cage with him, not content just to ride this out on, on the scorecard, so. Minute and 25 seconds left in this third and final round. Good front kick, a little slip from Hodges, recovered though. Minute left in the round. Nice turning back. Uh-oh. Looks like he's okay, though. Thirty seconds left in this third and final round. Premier MMA Championship 12. Nelson is staying just busy enough to keep Hodges on the defense here. Starting to look like this one's going to the judges' scorecard. Big high knee there by Hodges. I mean, you know, uh, impressive performance by Hodges, but, you know, uh, they were a little apprehensible in this fight. I, I think I have to give it to Nelson. Um, I, you know, you could have uh, perhaps gave the third round to Hodges, but, uh, you know, I think it was two rounds behind going into the third. It's just my opinion. Yeah. Uh, but it uh, might be a hard one to score, I'm though. Pretty, I'm pretty right. sure that Nelson will get the nod in this fight. But, you know, all in all, for an amateur debut to get three rounds in there and to yeah. have a good showing, I mean, yeah. it's the best experience you can have. He looks great. Uh, you know, he uh, his Hodge's favorite quote is, my opponent is my teacher, my ego is my enemy. So, uh, you know, he got the experience of his first fight under his belt, win or lose tonight. And, uh, and uh, Nelson's still over there smiling. We'll see if he's smiling after the judge's decision coming up next. 
Slick Rick Times about to enter the cage. Ladies and gentlemen, all the judges have scored the bout for the winner by unanimous decision from the blue corner, T.Y. Nilsson. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with your winner, T.Y. Nelson. You were smiling ear to ear almost uh, that entire fight. It looked like you were having fun in there. Did you have a game plan coming in here tonight because you didn't know much about your opponent? Uh, yes, sir. I seen he was a toddler fighter, so I had to stay inside. That was basically my plan. <laughs> uh, a very good job. You, you definitely uh, were controlling the pace of the fight. Uh, what's next for you? Uh, I want to fight again, August, August 17th, I think that's it, yes sir. We look forward to seeing you, congratulations, great performance. You guys give it up for T.Y. Nelson.